I came from Singapore, uh, which is a little island country in Asia. I left it when I was 16 to actually do theater. So I came to college in California and then um, was doing theater classes, unbeknownst to my dad, because, you know, Chinese parents, they really wanted you to do business. So I kind of lied and then she sent my grades back. And one day my grades went back to uh, home. And my dad was saying, what is this theater class that you have, you know, called uh, theater movement? And I basically said, maybe it's um, a class about the economics of theater movements. So he was basically concerned and basically said you should take other classes like business. So I kind of slightly acquiesced, but I kept basically doing theater and auditioning for parts and taking acting classes. And at some point I realized I was never being chosen for a certain part. I spoke to my professor one day and basically said, I thought I kind of nailed this part. To which he said, you did, you know, you're great. The only thing is, it's, it's an Alan Eckborn play. It's in the middle of the country called England. and you." just don't look the part. To which I quickly said, do you think I'm going to be in The King and I for the rest of my life? And he said, yeah, you could be. So that very same day, I changed majors. So I started basically directing, writing, and it was kind of great because it allowed me to uh, explore different aspects of the, the, uh, the form, which is kind of great. Then I went back to Singapore after I graduated for three years because I had to do the mandatory national service. Uh, at that time, while I was doing national service, um, I basically got involved with a small theater company and started basically acting again. And at some point, we were watching all these little videos of us doing plays, and we say, why are we doing The Elephant Man? We're all like, you know, Chinese people running around with English accents. It's kind of weird. Uh, that became a wonderful conversation and probably my first foray into um, basically new playwriting. So we decided to write plays. And when there was an opportunity that arose, and that was in an inadvertent way because I was looking at a, this new theater season and it basically said there was a new play that was going to be happening in that following season. And I said, wow, who wrote that play? And they basically said, it hasn't been written yet. So I basically said, how much are you paying? And they said 500 bucks, to which I said, I'm going to write it for you. And that began my actually my theater playwriting career.